In this video, I'll show you a more difficult example of propagation of uncertainty. Now, let's say u is a function of x, y, and z. Assuming we know the average values of x, y, and z, and the uncertainty of x, y, and z, we'll be able to determine the uncertainty of u. So first step, we need to take the differential of both sides. Oh, I'm using the product rule here. It's more convenient to use the product rule than the quotient rule. And then we need to evaluate some of the terms. This is easy. This is easy. The first derivative of sine y is cosine y. The first derivative of x to the power of negative 2 is negative 2 times x to the power of negative 3. So that's why we have negative 2 here. We have x to the power of 3 on the bottom. Now we have dx here and here. We have dy over here. And we have dz over here. Now we combine the dx terms. We have only one dy term. We have two dz terms. To determine the uncertainty of u, we need to make two assumptions. The first assumption is that x, y, and z are independent of each other. The second assumption is less obvious. The second assumption is that the average value of x, y, and z are very close to the actual values. When that's the case, we'll be able to use the average values of a, x, y, and z here, here, and here. Look, I'm going to put the average value of z here, the average of y, the average of x. Assuming these averages are very close to the actual values of x, y, and z. Again, average of z, the average of y, the average of x. I 
again, we have to use the average value of x, z, y, and x, assuming the averages of x, y, and z are close to the actual values of x, y, and z. This equation can be used to determine the uncertainty value of u. Two assumptions are made. x, y, and z are independent of each other. The second assumption is that the average value of z, the average value of x, and the average value of y are very close to the actual values of z, of x, and of y.